XX Hello Glow fan, Vince here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and hit the little notification bell so that you are always updated. If you're buying any of the products used in this video, tag me on Instagram at XXOOVince with the hashtag Vince made me buy this. You can follow me on all my social media accounts, everything will be up here and linked down below. So now in today's video, it is review natin tong EB Advance Absolute Matte Lipsticks. Ayan. Siyempre binili ko ng 12-12. And make sure that you watch until the end of the video kasi meron akong giveaway. Sobrang tagal na itong nakatenggan dun sa makeup stash ko. Gustong gusto ko na siyang i-review and gamitin. Kasi nga, I have high hopes para dito sa product na to kasi it's from EB Advance. So today, we will know if we will continue to glow or kung magiging pundido ba yung itsura natin dito sa Absolute Matte Lipsticks na to. So grab a drink, sit back and relax and without further ado, let's glow! Okay, now let's know some information about the product first. Bago natin siya in a view. Let's start off with the product description. It says here, it's love at first swipe with the EB Advance Absolute Matte Lipstick. This highly pigmented lipstick gives you that full color with a soft matte powder finish that gives you that perfect pout Absolutely. The EB Advance Absolute Matte Lipstick is also vegan, paraben-free, cruelty-free, and it's good for 24 months from the open date. It's very surprising for me na vegan yung formula niya, kasi parang ngayon ko lang ata narinig na nag-release yung EB Advance or ever bilena ng vegan na product. Wow ha! I think most ng mga drugstore brands ngayon nagsistep up na talaga sila, and EB Advance is not playing, girl. This contains 3.8 grams worth of products, which is normal naman sa mga lipsticks, and it's it's made in China. Now this product retails for 185 pesos. I think sobrang affordable niya for a lipstick. I was like, paano ginagawa ng Everbelena yun? Ang baba ng benta nila sa lipstick. Cause to be honest, Glow Fam, if you're gonna compare that price point dun sa mga iba pang mga brands, parang wow, ang layo. Sobrang layo talaga. Pero later malalaman natin kung maganda ba talaga yung formula niya para sa price point niya. As far as I remember, initially, it was only available through Lazada. But then recently, EB Advance posted on Instagram saying that these lipsticks are available in stores nationwide. So kung gustong gusto nyo talaga itry ito, pwede na kayo pumunta dun sa nearest ever Belena store na gusto nyo. Normally sa Watsons, meron nun. So bago kayo pumunta, tapusin nyo muna tong video na to. Diyan ka lang. Upo ka lang muna dyan. <laughs> now let's talk about the packaging and the component of this product. When you buy this, it would come in a unique carton like this. I think sobrang ganda ng design. Napakalayo nyo dun sa mga ibang products ng ever Belena before. This looks posh, napaka sophisticated niya, napaka simple niya, pero maganda yung dating. But then again, Glow Fam, tingnan natin ko ano yung nasa loob, which is yun yung mas importante, di ba? So let me open one for you guys, tingnan natin kung ano yung itsura niya sa loob. So the initial thing na napansin ko pag kuha ko nung lipstick is hindi magkapareho yung kulay niya dun sa unicarton at saka dito, sa component itself. Pero tingnan natin, Glow Fam, kung pareho yung shade niya sa loob ng lipstick. Okay, that's much better. I think pareho pareho nga yung shade ng lipstick dun sa unicarton niya pero hindi siya pareho dun sa color ng component. Kasi ba diba, kung ganito yung component nila, i-expect mo rin na ganito yung kulay ng lipstick. But then again, magkaiba siya. Yung kulay ng component is different from the color or the shade of the lipstick. Mas pareho pa siya dun sa color ng unicarton niya. If we're gonna look at the component of the lipstick, napakaganda niya. Ang minimalist ng feel. Definitely matte din yung component niya and so far, isa to sa pinakamagagandang components ng lipstick na meron ako. So, ito lang siya, one solid color, tapos printed lang yung brand ng EB Advance, which is nice. And if we're looking at the bottom of the lipstick, you will see some information. So, makikita mo rin dito na paraben-free siya, cruelty-free, it's good for 24 months. You will see the shade name, the net weight of the product, stock number, batch number, and manufacture date. This is how the component looks like. And this is the amount of product that you will get if you buy the slippy. So just to let you guys know, there are a total of six shades. Merong dalawang medyo light and merong apat na nagbo-border into deep na siya. So I will start with the lighter shade first and iisa-isahin -isa natin silang anim. So we will start with Perk. So let's see first, isa-swatch muna natin siya dito. So yung shade na Perk is para siyang mid-tone peach na shade. Siyempre medyo leaning to dun sa pink side of things. So definitely bagay to sa mga mapukuti. Kasi nga medyo bright yung kulay niya. Pero tingnan natin how it applies sa lips.
hmm, I think this shade is too light for me. Pag tumitingin ako sa monitor, medyo slightly pinkish yung nakita ko. Pag tinitingin ako siya sa mirror, medyo may pagka neon yung dating niya. Parang neon na pink na peach. So parang mid-tone peach nga siya. It looks nice on camera. Parang medyo pa sweet yung dating niya. But then, in person, it doesn't go well with my skin tone. To be honest with you, Glow Fam, first swipe, medyo patchy yung dating niya. But then when I started building it up, okay naman siya. Ayan, definitely the color payoff is there. If we're gonna talk about the formula, hindi siya malagkit. It's very easy to glide the lips. Pigmentation and opacity, roughly around 80%. Hindi siya ganun ka-opaque for me. Regarding the shade, this is not for morena. Mas bagay ito sa mga mapupute. But definitely the formula is really, really good. Now, the next shade that we will try is the shade Siesta. Iswatch muna natin sa kamay natin. Okay, yung shade niya is warm coral shade siya, na merong a little bit of rose undertone. If you will see, meron siyang a mixture of red, orange, a little bit of brown, very, very light lang. And I think this shade is cute for mid-tone morenas. Tingnan natin kung maganda nga siya sa lips. In fairness, ang ganda ng shade na to, ah. I think nagmamatch siya perfectly dun sa look ko ngayon, yung orange eyeshadow vibe. Kung ilalagay ko tong siesta dun sa lips ko, ng very very light lang, parang pa-lip tint effect, or pa-gradient lip effect, I think MLBB ko to. Ang cute niya, sobrang gusto ko yung shade. <laughs> Nakakatawa, promise. Kasi Glow Fam, when I go out, I don't wear a full-on lipstick. Normally, nag-gradient lips lang ako. Naglalagay ako ng either lip tint o kaya lipstick, tapos sinasmudge ko lang siya. So, I think perfect to for me kung gusto ko ma-achieve yung ganong klaseng look. Pero very, very subtle lang. Hindi yung overly intense na gradient lip. Kasi nga, MLBB siya. So, magbe-blend lang siya halos dun sa tone or shade ng lips nyo. Okay, but then let's talk about the formula. So far, it's still consistent. Opacity is around 80%. Kasi nakikita ko pa nga yung a little bit of tone ng lips ko. Pero, i-build up din natin siya. Ayan, so definitely buildable talaga yung formula niya. Maganda siya. This time, masasabi ko nasa 80 to 85% na yung opacity niya nung dinoble siya. Hindi siya fully opaque. So if you are really going for that natural vibe, I think perfect sa itong lipstick na to. The next shade that we will try is the shade Boss. Iswatch muna natin yung Boss sa hand natin or sa arm. As you can see, medyo mid-tone blue based na red siya. Meaning parang cool tone na red. So kung gusto niya ng talagang pula, pula na hindi deep, medyo cool tone lang, you can go for this shade. Now let's see how it applies to lips. Now this shade is nice if you're looking for a lippy that can make your teeth look whiter, if that makes sense. At yung shade na parang tinray mong mang laban, pero pa-sweet ka pa rin, pero hindi ganun ka fierce. At yung shade na parang inisip mong sumugod sa gera dahil gusto mong nang lalaban ka, pero pagdating mo dun sa gera parang nagpa-cute ka lang. So this lippy is definitely good if you wanna look a little bit seductive, but with a touch of sweetness, if that makes sense. If we're gonna talk about the formula, definitely yung apa Opacity nito is mas mataas compared dun sa first two shades sa tinray natin. Pigmentation and opacity, approximately 90 to 95 percent. But let's see if we will build this up. Ayan na, definitely nasa mga 95 to 98 percent ito, but not fully, fully opaque pa rin. Pero ang ganda niya. So far, the formula is very consistent. Maganda pa rin siya ilagay sa lips. Yung pag-glide ng product is just perfect. But then I have a little bit of a warning. I highly recommend that you prep your lips before you wear these lippies. Kasi if you have dry lips, medyo very, very light lang ma-accentuate niya ng konti yung creases niyo sa lips. Not too much, pero medyo kita pa rin siya pag tinignan niyo talagang ganun. Pero sa malayo, it looks nice. The next shade that we will try, Glow Fam, is the shade Galore. Now, tingnan natin kung ano yung kakalabasan niya pag na-swatch na siya sa hand natin. Right off the bat, yung tone niya or yung shade niya is parang terracotta brown. Pero meron siyang a little bit of peach undertone. If you're gonna check the shades, it's very close to Siesta. Pero mas marami lang yung brown pigments niya dito sa Galore. So now, let's see how it applies sa lips.
Wow! Ganda ng shade na to. Parang ang lakas makasosyal. This shade is definitely good for mid-tone morenas to morenas. If your skin tone is a little bit light, if you wear galore, you would look a little bit fierce. In a good way, kasi ang ganda nga ng tone ng color niya, yung pagka-brown niya is not brown na brown, na mukhang tae brown. Ito yung mga type of brown na parang ang social tingnan sa'yo. Yung parang kahit wala nang laman yung wallet mo, sasabihin ng tao na, ay, yaman niya. Sobrang ganda na shade na to. Hindi ko na alam kung ano yung favorite ko, yung siesta ba, o itong galore. Pero parang mas gusto ko itong galore. So far, ito yung favorite ko. Tingnan natin kung mapapalitan pa. If we're gonna talk about the formula, pigmentation and opacity is around 80 to 85 percent. Let's try to build up the lipstick. Again, definitely the formula is buildable, pero mas gusto ko siya ng parang one swipe lang, yung medyo pa-sweet lang, hindi yung masyadong full-on talaga. Kasi may mga iba-ibang types ng tao na yung iba gusto nila full-on talaga yung lips nila, yung iba gusto nila parang one swipe lang, pa-sweet, yung iba dinadab lang nila for a gradient effect. Parang gusto ko tong gamitin tong shade na to, nagbo-border dun sa medyo gradient effect na medyo one swipe lang, para hindi ganun ka-intense yung punch pag nakita ka talaga ng tao. But if you're going to like a night event or a party then you can definitely wear this full on and magiging maganda talaga yung effect niya. Like what I said, this shade looks so social. Parang naliligo ka ng dollars and lahat ng Gucci mo and Birkin bag mo dala, -dala mo palagi. So far, this is my favorite. The next shade that we will try is the shade Habit. Tingnan natin kung ano yung shade niya pag sunwatch. Okay, yung shade na Habit is like a dirty taupe shade. If we say taupe, para siyang dark brown between brown and grayish. Meron siyang konting konting peach with a mixture of brown undertone. Now, this shade is definitely good for mid-tone morena or mga morena. But then let's see how it looks like when applied to the lips. This is actually a cool shade, but I'm not really a fan of this color. Kasi diba like what I said, it's like a dirty taupe, which is like a dark brown between brown and gray. And medyo naparami ng konti yung gray undertone niya. So if I wear this, I look a little bit pale. Pero parang halos ganito yung shade ng lip ko. If you are the type of person na ayaw mo na sobrang center of attraction ka, then you can definitely go for this shade. Very, very light niya. Very, very pa-sweet siya. Yung parang chill lang. Actually, malapit talaga siya dun sa tone ng totoong lips ko. Pero I think I'd still wear this shade kung gusto ko na medyo pa-sweet lang. Pero I'm not gonna wear it full on. Gusto ko parang tap-tap lang yung gagawin ko sa kanya. Hindi ko siya magagawang gradient effect kasi definitely hindi naman ito yung kulay pang gradient effect. Pero pwede ko siyang patungan ng iba pang shades to get that full-on gradient effect talaga. If we're gonna talk about the formula, it glides smoothly on the lips. Pigmentation and opacity is around 75 to 80 percent. Let's try to build up the lippy. Yeah, still. Pero still, ang favorite ko pa rin yung galore. Tingnan natin. We're on our last shade. The last shade that we will try is the shade Plush. Tingnan natin kung ano yung itsura niya pag naswatch na. Okay, right off the bat, yung tone niya or yung shade niya is like uh, a berry mauve tone. If we say mauve, it's like a pale purple shade. Kaso lang, it's mixed with a little bit of berry. Kasi medyo deep nga yung, ano niya, yung shade niya. So parang deep na mauve shade. And ang ganda niya. Now, medyo maraming taong takot magsuot ng purple-ish na lipstick. Parang nagmumukha daw talong yung lips nila. But then let's see kung magmumukhang talong talaga yung lips natin dito. I think hindi naman siya ganong katalong-ish color pero tingnan natin when it's applied to the lips. So now let's talk about the shade. It's not like it's shouting talong-ish na bibig. Hindi naman ganun. Slight lang. I would not really pair this with a dramatic smoky eye. I think this lippy would be good. Pang mga pa-sweet na eyeshadow looks. Tapos you'll pair it with this kind of lippy. I think that will be a really good combination. Kasi ayaw mo naman maging super overpowering yung buong mukha mo. You want it just a pop of color. So a nude, very very light eyeshadow look with a slip. 
lips would look really really nice pag nagpunta ka sa party. This shade is really nice especially for mid-tone morenas and morenas. I think this would suit everybody. If you're fair, you would definitely look fierce on this. You know what Glofam, what's good about deep shades is that you can actually go out with just a pop of highlight, a little bit of blush, tapos just wear the deep shade na lipstick and I think you're good to go. You would look really really amazing. Just a piece of advice for everybody, it's not like you have to wear full on makeup every day when you go out. You know what these days or sa 2020, less is more. Makapagsalita ng less is more yung highlight ko, putok na putok. <laughs> I like this shade but it's not really my favorite. Let's talk about the formula, it's very consistent, it glides perfectly on the lips. Pigmentation and opacity, it's around 85 to 90 percent. This is like the lip that you don't have to build up, pero let's do that. Okay, looks cute. Pero yun nga, if you're medyo palaban, I think this shade would be perfect for you. Whew! And now for my final thoughts. To begin with, let's talk about the packaging. I can really feel the minimalist vibe in it. And it's not bad. I mean, I love it. Napaka sophisticated nung dating. Ang ganda niya i-display. Hindi siya madulas sa kamay pag hinawakan niyo siya. Ang cute niya, just like any other lip products, pareho lang naman yung size. So definitely, madalagay niyo to sa bag niyo. You can take this anywhere you want. Next, let's talk about the formula. I think yung mood and feel nitong EB Advance Absolute Matte Lipstick is like the Korean vibes. Yun yung nararamdaman ko sa kanya dahil nga yung formula niya, it's not that opaque na hindi siya sobrang overwhelming pag sinot mo. Parang it's giving you like the option to wear it like a gradient lip lang. Like what I'm wearing right now, this is a mixture of galore dun sa outer side ng lips tapos dun sa inner side naglagay ako ng boss. So definitely you can do a gradient lip with this. Pwede nyo rin siya a one swipe lang. If you don't want it super intense, you can get that kind of effect. And if you really, really want to go 100, you can do a full-on lip with these products. It's so nice because it's very easy to glide dun sa lips. Because there are lip products that, pag bukas mo, pag nilagay mo agad sa lips mo, parang merong tugging effect. Ito wala siya ng tugging effect na yon. Let's see if it's transfer proof. Tingnan natin. Maglalagay ako ng galor. As you can see, Glow Fam, hindi siya transfer proof. Unfortunately, hindi ko na mawawear test to kasi madaling araw ngayon, magsisimbang gabi na. Hindi naman ako pwede magsimbang gabi na lipstick na bonggang bongga. I'm not really sure if this concerns a lot of people, pero nung tinatanggal ko yung lipstick using a regular wet wipes or a regular makeup wipes, madali siyang natatanggal, as in madali siyang natatanggal, literal. If you're wearing this, you have to touch up all throughout the day. Kasi pag kumain ka ng medyo oily o kaya uminom ka ng tubig, dumampi yung labi mo sa kung saan. Definitely magka-transfer siya and kailangan mo talaga siyang i-touch up. Pigmentation and opacity. Ito ah, sa akin to. Feeling ko talaga Korean vibe yung gusto nilang i-aim dito sa mga lipsticks na to kasi it's not that opaque. Which is not bad. It's good. It's nice. Lalo na sa mga Pilipino na hindi naman ganun talaga nag-wear ng full-on lipsticks. I mean, hindi ko naman sinasabing lahat ng Pinoy hindi nag-wear ng full-on lipsticks. Pero majority, mas gusto ngayon yung vibe is parang chill lang. Pa sweet lang. I just have a concern about the shades kasi nga parang dalawa lang yung nakikita kong medyo light na shades. So, yung apat na shades na naiwan dito is leaning on the deep side. Yes, itong mga deep tone na lipsticks na to, pag in-apply nyo sa lips ng very very light lang, you can definitely wear this sa daytime. Pero if you wanna go on ng full on lip talaga, I think perfect tong four shades na to for nighttime. Pero these six shades, I think ito lang, yung perk lang yung hindi ko nakikitang nag-work para sa mga moreno or morena. Kasi medyo light yung color niya. Itong rest, Siesta, definitely you can work it out. Ang ganda-ganda ng tone niya, lalo na perfect to din sa mga Korean-Korean inspired looks, ganyan. And these four shades, I think, pack na pack to. But then again, yung pinaka-pinaka favorite ko talaga sa lahat is yung EB Advance Absolute Matte Lipstick in the shade Galore. Ito siya, ito yung shade na yon, Galore. Para sa akin, sobrang ganda nitong shade na to. Hindi ko siya my lips but better shade, pero gandang-ganda ako sa shade nito. Pag sinusuot siya, parang ang lakas 
malakas makasosyal, parang ang ganda-ganda mo, parang ang fresh na medyo-medyo ng lalaban ng konti. Sobrang perfect to. Ito yung favorite shade ko dito sa anim na lick products ito. And yun lang, that's it for my final thoughts. I really hope na nag-enjoy kayo kasi nag-enjoy talaga ako sa pag-swatch ng mga lipsticks na to. I am so happy to tell you guys that I will be doing a giveaway! There will be one lucky winner ng all six shades tong lipsticks na to. And I just have a very few instructions para makasali kayo sa giveaway. Number one, mag-subscribe ka sa channel ko and ilike mo tong video na to. Number two, follow me on Instagram at xxoovince. Number three, screenshot mo tong YouTube video na to na kasama yung title. Post it on your IG story and you have to tag two accounts with one hashtag. So first tag, at ebadvance. Second tag, at xxoovince with the hashtag XXOO giveaway. Parang ganto. And last but not the least, number four, go back to this video and leave a comment with your Instagram account or Instagram handle with the hashtag XXOO giveaway. Ayun lang. Good luck, guys. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. XXOO Glow Fam, and I'll see you on the next one.